Jeep Willis Overland. I'm done with the 40. This is all that's left. Get it with the 28. But I got to do a quick infomercial for you. Well, down in the 30s today, it's cold. Um, foggy, as you can see, you can't see any view. Can't see any view from here. But I got to do a quick infomercial. So um, a buckle breaks on my, I'm, no, I'm kind of noted for my repairs of uh, overalls. Um, so this one happened on the job site. So you say, former Jeep, <clears throat> Willis Overland, what am I going to do if my buckle breaks on my overalls and you're at the job site? You go down, you got to go to your car, get down that tree, go to your car, you get your carabiner keychain. Can you see that? I don't know which way this is facing, but I know Scooby-Doo's looking at me. Um, so you go down, you get your carabiner, you you cut the hole where the, where the button was, and you put the carabiner through. And then you get yourself a repair for the day. And then later on, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to switch this side over to a carabiner because it just makes so much sense. So I'm coming to you from Appalachian America. Going to finish up with the ladder I got from my Uncle John. Uh, Rapiano, probably 1960s, 70s phone ladder. I bought one in the 80s, and me and my friend Andy Boudreau, yes, he is a Cajun, uh, late 80s, early 90s, we did cable TV on the on the Saturdays, and uh, he did all the digging and the wall fishes, and I did all the climbing um, with my ladder I bought uh, from the phone company. It was, it's foggy. It's really foggy. It's Airbnb across the street. Um, really foggy. Yeah, me and Andy Boudreaux, we do that. I do all the climbing. He had a Nissan truck and it wasn't long enough for the ladder. So we took my big Chevy long bed um, with that old phone ladder in it. And we did cable TV back in the 80s and 90s. And then I got on with the power company and, uh, 89 Appalachian America almost done with this one I like to call this far country but it's really God's country amen see ya